You, can you explain where NIFRS came from? Yeah, it's it's a byproduct of the 1974 Fire Prevention and Control Act signed by President Nixon. But but operationally, that's about the right time frame. I mean, just because you sign a bill doesn't mean it right. happens overnight. Yeah. And and the the your memory of it would be accurate to everybody else. It's pre me. Um, you know, I, I started in the late 90s. And, um, and, and, you know, infers, I don't know, you get a lot of folks that villainize infers, um, mainly, mainly because I think that, uh, firefighters in general have a, don't exactly have an affinity for this data thing. It's only in the last generation or two that we've begun to appreciate the kind of information we can get about, you know, how we, how we staff, how we deploy, how we do our job what the risk is in our communities using data, that it's the best reconnaissance tool out there. And it's, it's just as important to keep firefighters safe. But, you know, when infers came around there, I don't know that that was the spirit of the fire service. We have it a little bit easier today. The, the biggest issue with infers, um, you know, besides the historical value is that it just wasn't updated as frequently as it needed to be. Um, you know, that the paper form that you recall is actually the reason that if you know anything about infers, you start to memorize all these codes oh, in yeah. your head. 